Hi there. So we've still got the same setup here, a little B and a, a retro synth. And I want to take a look now. Uh, we looked previously at the time quantize. I want to take a look at the scale quantize. So I'm going to go ahead and record in something here and go just hit R to record. Okay, so recorded in a basic sequence there. Let's take a look at our recording here. Okay, so for starters, we can quantize this up if we want to and go to 16th notes. And take that swing off. Okay, so say if we know what scale we're working in and we've played in some notes and we know we're working in a C minor and all our other sounds, we've got a vocal in a C minor, some pads in the C minor. We have a scale quantize that can snap those notes to that scale very quickly. So all I do in here is I set my scale and say, we'll look at this. I've probably played this in A minor. We can highlight all of these and and just set your scale, so whichever scale you're working in, say C, natural minor, hit quantize, and it then quantizes the notes to the C minor scale. Or we could go, are we working in A minor? And it's now quantizing to A minor. And then you have different, you have the major, so A major. And all the various different scales that you can snap your MIDI notes to very quickly. Another thing I love about the scale quantize here is, so if I delete these notes now, and I've set a scale quantize of A natural minor, if I now use my brush tool, it will snap the notes to the A minor scale. So you notice as I drag it down, it's missing some of these notes out. It's missing all the notes out that aren't in the A minor scale. So you know you can set your scale here, C major, use your brush notes. We'd had sixteenth notes before. Let's change this setting now to quarter notes and Let's get our brush tool up again and we can just draw in a little MIDI region that's in C major or set a different scale F, natural minor, quantize, change the quantize settings to maybe eighth notes and do a little F minor riff. Uh, I quite like that feature. It's quite a cool way of just getting some hooks in using the brush tool very quickly and in combination with the time quantize or maybe even applying some swing settings then you can very quickly get some quite cool little MIDI hooks down. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Any questions, get in touch and thanks for watching.